Now back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Gaston's White River Resort, and Barton Power Sports. Hey, welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790. As we talk uh, a lot about uh, fishing rodeos on today's show. Because it's free fishing day. And it's also free fishing day, yeah. of course. And that always falls in there. It's always the... Uh, First Saturday in... It's it's a it, weird formula. They, I believe if you look in the, the, the okay. legislative code where it uh-huh. established that, it's the first Saturday after the first Tuesday in June. Okay. That, got that me, makes sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me at all, but... Uh, <laughs> we elect you to legislate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but we know that uh, we've been talking about our rodeo and, and a lot of rodeos down here, nine of them in West Tennessee or something in our area. And Iris, of course, uh, is is out at Johnson Road Lake behind Germantown Baptist Church. We'll be uh, registering about 7 this morning. Another big rodeo, and I think this is the 15th year for them also, is uh, the one that uh, our good friend Steve McAdams uh, puts on up at at McKenzie, and that's a casting for a cure kids fishing rodeo. We've got Steve on the line with us. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, Larry. Good to be with you, Ken. And I know this rodeo is extra special for you because of your ties with uh, the cure part, right? Absolutely. You know, uh, I'm a cancer survivor, but we're going to benefit the American Cancer Society and teach kids how to fish at the same time. So that's two good reasons to uh, have a fishing rodeo on free fishing day and it's National Fishing Week, too. Well, I know we're, we're we're not getting a real good reception on you, Steve. Uh, Steve Steve's gone into witness protection. He has. We've had yeah, to disguise it, his he, voice. Is that what that is? It sounded like Pinocchio, you know. <laughs> so I didn't know if you could do that or not. But uh, I'll never grow up. No, he's moving. He's 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 trying to get ready this morning. And and tell us where it's going to be. We're at McKenzie City Park on uh, Saturday morning. We're let the kids fish from nine until eleven. So. Any listeners in, in that area invited to come see us. We've got a lot of good golf prizes and a good day in store. A lot of, a lot of hungry fish. Yes, and uh, 9 to 11, that's the same time as ours. Two hours uh, is, I think, a limit So uh, for yeah. these kids. And, and your ages are what, Steve? Yeah, we're 15 and under. 15 and under. Okay. And under yeah. means, what's the youngest that you got out there? <laughs> Uh, hey, I've had some show up in strollers, you know. I don't, <laughs> I don't think I got the prizes. Yeah, they're rolling up there in strollers sometimes. Yeah, all right. So. That's amazing. But, uh, how many kids do you think you might have, Steve? You know, it's a good guess. You know, this year we're going back to the first Saturday, and last year we had to postpone the thing a month I know because it. Carol Lake got flooded, you may remember. Yes, so, we do remember. Uh, we're, we're creating some new ground in a new location. And the weather looks great, so I'm hoping we've got the word out pretty good. So we're hoping for 150 kids or so, but we never know. You never know. And, uh, Steve, of course, uh, tell them your association with this, Steve, how you came up with this. Yeah, I'm a cancer survivor myself, and about 16 years ago when I was undergoing chemotherapy and radiation, I thought, if I can just get through this, I'll help somebody. And uh, one of the things that came to mind was a fishing rodeo back at my old home haunt there of McKenzie and Carroll Lake. And yeah. That's where I got my first fish. And we had a rodeo there a long, long time ago, and it went away. And so we resurrected it and brought it back. And my friends there at TWA and helped me out and stopped some fish and helped me get going. And it's been a success ever since. And so we're talking to Steve McAdams about the uh, Casting for a Cure Kids Fishing Rodeo that's going on today uh, up at McKenzie. And, and I know Steve, and I'm, I've asked other people about these rodeos uh, not only are, are a great family event, but it gives you a chance to uh, spend some quality time, and maybe uh, we may uh, produce some new license holders, right? Well, we hope so. I think we foster fishing. There's a lot of kids, as you know, Larry, that come out for the very first time. This is their first fishing trip. Yeah. If we let them catch a fish or give them a door prize and they have a good memory of going fishing, hopefully they'll go again. And uh, you're right. It, it's a win-win situation all the way around. Well, I know that uh, your event and all the other ones that go into this thing, uh, I've got to ask you before we let you go and get back to taking care of all your business up there on this Saturday morning. I got your report this week from Kentucky Lake. Uh, uh, they really caught a lot of fish up there in those tournaments. Uh, and I, I don't have the final results from this weekend, of course. The Bass Fest is uh, is going on in your area. It must be it must be a, a wild time up there in, in Paris. It is. There's a lot of things going at Kentucky Lake this weekend, and it's still in progress. The Bass Elite Series is still underway. And yeah. They come up over 26 pounds on the first day, and wow. that's unbelievable stringers. I mean, it's, yeah. it's been awesome. 
unbelievable stringers. And then, the, of course, then they had the tournament over at Barkley with some of the guys right. and everything. Uh, what about fishing on Kentucky Lake? I, I know I, I don't think I'd want to be up there fishing this uh, today unless I was <laughs> at the rodeo. But uh, what's the situation fishing-wise? Well, um, of course, bass fishing has held up great, as you know, with the ledge fishing. The big drop-off seems to be where most of the big tournament stingers are coming from. And I've been crappie fishing every day this week, and it's been pretty good. <laughs> June is a sleeper. It's overlooked by a lot of folks. Yeah. And June is one of my good months for crappie, quite frankly. And uh, so it's a good time to be on the lake. Uh, the bass have got a knot on their head. They've seen a lot of lures this week. <laughs> yeah. But after, after it calms down, well, we'll get back to normal early next week. But uh, it's been a pretty good June so, so far here. Have you uh, have you seen any willow flies yet? I, I noticed yeah. in Lake Graham the other day there was – Several of them flying around, and I was just wondering up there on the lake whether the in this full, full yeah. moon cycle like we got now, if the willow flies were coming out. There was a, a small hatch last week, uh, a pretty good hatch one day, and it didn't last long. But, you know, usually our big hatches happen about the first week or 10 days in June. They'll start, and then throughout July. But we have had a small hatch already, not enough to really get the bluegill uh, going just yet. But, well, we can have a big hatch any day this time of year. Well, all we've hatched is cicadas now. You know, I oh, mean, yeah. uh, well, you sing along with them. Yeah, well, I sing. Plenty of those if you need any. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bring your earplugs. That's what everybody says. Steve, thank you, buddy. Y'all have a great one up there today. I hope the uh, kids catch lots of fish, and uh, we'll be talking to you, of course, uh, next month sometime, okay? Thank you. Appreciate what you're doing for the kids down there, too, Larry. All right. Thank you, buddy. All right. All right. Bro. Steve McAdams. Uh, I forgot to tell you, you can uh, look up Steve McAdams and uh, you want to book a trip with a guy that's been doing it for a long time, just Google Steve McAdams. That's yep. M-C-C-A-D-A-M-S, uh, McAdams, Steve McAdams, a good friend up there. And, uh, yeah, uh, and Steve, he's, Steve's going to have a good place to hold a rodeo once we get Carol Lake back online. Well, when you will know, that be, you think? If, I'm going to say if they if they start construction, you know, mm-hmm. and the commission approved. They did, I the know. The plan. Yeah. Uh, it'll be 2019 before that lake opened back wow. up. Wow, wow. That's, but, it'll uh, be, but it'll be kind of redesigned. We, we, I, that's why I was telling Dave Rizzuto, who's going to be on our show uh, a little bit uh, you later. Know, in a future segment. Uh-huh. And uh, I said, man, this is, y'all got the perfect, perfect place to do some new innovative stuff up there. So Yeah, while the know, water's down, yeah. You yeah, know. well, he won't have to worry about it. So, so uh, uh, and we're gonna have to move a lot of dirt out, and uh, but we're working on that. Uh, uh, TWRA so. knows how to move dirt. Yeah, well, we you know <laughs> we, we we can contact a lot of people that yeah, know people does. who know yeah. how to move dirt. Yeah, you, 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 it's, I'm not saying it's a dirty organization, but you know <laughs> you, guys, you guys know how to throw. But dirt. But they after I I can dig up dirt on people. <laughs> oh my, we, that's on the record right here on Outdoors with Larry Ray, and I know that. Uh, Again, our rodeo is today at uh, 7 a.m., getting closer to the registration. And, and for the first young person. That's right. That walks up to us out there on the isthmus between the lakes. Okay, you know, isthmus. Now you've thrown them. The, okay. you know, the, the, the walkway between the lakes. That Comes dry up path. to me. Not Gene Smith, yeah, you know, not you. Larry does his Moses invitation. Yeah, he parts that. the water. That's right, yeah. And he's out there. You can't you can't miss him. He'll be the one with the microphone in his and hand. The, and the big hat. I'll have my big yeah. hat on. And yeah. walks up and introduces himself, their selves, uh, either he or she, he or she, All right. and say, "You know, you sound taller on the radio." That's I know the winner. That's a winner, and that's got I got a rod and reel, so mm-hmm. uh, I'm sure they're going to be lined up to say that to me. You yeah, know, as I, we'll, you know. we'll we'll see how many fans you got. Yeah, fans. I, I may need a fan yeah. this morning. Well, I've you got know? two on the trailer. Oh, you got two on the trailer. <laughs> yeah. I, I may need some fans, but you know this rodeo. Gene has been involved in it uh, probably longer than I, I know I have because uh, he's been around longer. But uh, I'm getting rounder as the day goes by. As a, that sounds like a song. But uh, you know that uh, this rodeo goes back to the days of uh, Frank Vestal, Henry Reynolds, and then uh, myself and everything. Of course, uh, 51 years of commercial appeal did this road. Three days. I just can't imagine doing these things. Three and I, days. And I always tell the story. 1,500 kids. My wife. Yeah, yeah. Rand was in, yeah. Rand caught her was. very first fish mm-hmm. at the rodeo umpteen years ago. Umpteen. I think when when they had it at Audubon. Yeah, we had it at Ray Deaton Lake at Audubon uh-huh. Park. Yeah. yeah, I believe that's where she ever caught her first ever fish. She said. Well, I know the first grand champion of that rodeo was Win Wright. 
And uh, I don't know if Wynn's listening this morning. Uh, her husband was Larry Larry Wright, uh, the football coach. And uh, when uh, was the when we had our 50th anniversary of that rodeo, uh, we brought back a lot of the champions. Uh, and I think he was over at uh, uh, Riverside or something, uh, Gene. I'd say yeah, it, Riverside it, Park. Yeah, Riverside Which Park. Which is now Martin Luther King Park. Yeah, we moved it around. In fact, it became a – it's almost like, you know – Put put the rodeo on wheels and moved it yeah. around. We had it at the Agri Center. We had it at uh, the old Patriot Lake, which they've drained out. And we put a net across and tried to block off the part of Patriot Lake at Shelby Farms. And then we uh, just moved it around. But the Ray Deaton Lake was where we would have 12, 1,500. Ken, Henry said we had 2,000 one year. I just can't imagine that. But three days, yeah, y'all five sessions. Y'all used to have fishermen flights yeah, in sessions. Uh, oh, we had them yeah. in five sessions, two right. and a half hours. And uh, and you start on Friday with uh, one session, uh, two se- one session on Friday, two right. on Saturday, one on Friday, and, and two on, on Saturday, two on and Saturday. one on Sunday, one on Sunday, right. and then we crown the champion. And then we've had Watergate, and we've had all sorts of <laughs> oh, things yeah. happen. I had to take a bike back one time. We'll talk a yeah, lot about that. There's a lot of history yeah. in this rodeo. I figured there's over seventy thousand kids have fished in this rodeo over the sixty six years, mm-hmm. but and that's an easy just to guess. You know, and it's always been free, and it's always been six to twelve, and that's the way it's been, and that's the way it's gonna be. You know, but anyway, that's the day. Come on out to Johnson Road Lake, right behind Germantown Baptist Church on Poplar. There'll be some signs up uh, when you go down. When you go on Johnson Road, you make your left off Poplar, going north. Uh, it'll be about the second entrance right there. But uh, oh, we're gonna have a great day, wonderful day, lots of prizes, bikes. Uh, champions and, yeah. and we're going to talk about it a little bit about it when we get down to dave Rizzuto at the end but uh it's a little bit different it's points and I, yeah. I still have to look at my little cheat sheet to determine how many points you get one for a brand we had a girl in one time with like caught 100 brand right yeah. or something mm-hmm. like that twice so, didn't she did she yeah something like yeah. that unbelievable and they were like two inches you know two inches long wow well, right, let's take a break coming right back on outdoors with larry ray on espn 790 